case IT 9621T, the, prosecu the prosecutor of the tribunal against Zenil de Lalic. Let me uh, first uh, verify that the equipment is working. Can everyone who is using an earphone in the courtroom hear me in a language they understand? Everyone can hear me? Fine. This is, uh, this is an initial uh, appearance uh, of the accused pursuant to Rule 62 of the Tribunal's Rules of Procedure and Evidence. Under uh, our procedures, uh, a uh, video is made of these proceedings, and this is uh, broadcast to the media. Uh, is there an objection to our proceeding on that basis? First, from the prosecutor. For the defense? Right. May I have the appearances I, uh, for the prosecutor, please? Yes. Eric Espey, and I, I appear today with uh, Mrs. Teresa McHenry. Fine, thank you. And may I have the appearances for the defense, please? Edina Reshidovic, Advocat i Sarajeva, Izabrani Branlac, Gospodna Zainla Delalica. Fine, thank you. Um, are there any initial additional appearances? Uh, no. Is the prosecutor ready to proceed, Mr. Osberg? Yes. And uh, is the defense ready to proceed? Is it Ms. Uh, Rizidovic? I'm okay. trying. Is that fine? Are you ready to proceed on behalf of the accused? No. Yes. No. Now, m what uh, language uh, will you be using, Ms. Rizidovic? Are you, will you be speaking Serbo-Croatian? Under the rules, you would be permitted to speak in the, lang in the language of the accused. Would you tell me what language you will be using in the courtroom? Fine, thank you. Now, Ms. Uh, Rizidovic, um, uh, has Mr. Um, Delalic received a copy of the indictment? Da, gospodin Delalic je primio optužnicu. And has Mr. Delalic read the indictment, or has he had it read to him in a language he understands? Da, gospođo sudije, gospodin Delalic je primio, pročitao i razumio optužnicu. And you have discussed the indictment uh, with Mr. Delalic? Da, čula sam se s njim u toku jučerašnjeg dana. In your, in your opinion, uh, does Mr. Delalic understand the nature of the charges against him that are contained in the indictment? Po mom mišljenju, gospodin Delalic razumije prirodu, a ja bi molila da neposredno to pitanje postavi se gospodinu Deloviću. Yes. Mr. Uh, Delalic, would you please stand? For the record, would you state your full name, please? Da. Da, moje ime je Zainil Delalic. And uh, Mr. Delalic, uh, counsel Adina Rezidovic has indicated uh, that you have received a copy of the indictment. Have you? Have you read, have you received the indictment? Da. Please. Have you, have you discussed the indictment uh, with Mrs. Rezidovic? Da. Do, do you understand the nature of the charges uh, that are contained in the indictment against you? 
mislim da razumijem. Are you ready to proceed uh, with the reading of the indictment for the entry of a plea to the indictment, Mr. Dalalich? And are you ready to enter a plea to the indictment? Are you ready to either plead guilty or not guilty to the indictment, the charges that are contained in the indictment against you? Ne. Ne slažem se ni sa jednom tačkom optužnice, jer ona niša tačna. I ne osjećam se krivi, imam potpuno čistu savjest. Mr. Osberg, will you identify the counts in the indictment to which you want Mr. Delalich to enter a plea, and then I will ask Mr. Delalich to respond formally, please. It will be counts 13 and 14, count 33 to 35, count 38 and 39, and counts 44 uh, to 48. Uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Rizidovich, uh, need the indictment be read um, uh, to Mr. Delalich at this time, or is he willing to forego the formal reading of the entire indictment Gospodin Delalić je pročitao optužnicu i nema potrebe da se optužba čita. Može da se izjasni. Mr. Delalić, how do you plead to the counts in the indictment that the prosecutor has identified guilty or not guilty? Ne bi ne. Fine. Thank you. You may be seated, Mr. Delalić. You may sit down. Now, are there any uh, preliminary matters that the trial chamber needs to consider at, at this time? I would like... Za sada bi molila samo da pretresno vječe omogući odbrani njeno pravo da iznese prigovore na optužbu u roku od 60 dana. Također, obavješte vam sud da mi je ovog trenutka predstavnik tužioca dostavio dio dokumentacije koja je bila podnesena uz optužbu, pa ću prigovore dati nakon proučavanja tih dokaza. We um, have scheduled a status conference um, in, uh, for Mr. Mucic, uh, who is also named as a defendant in this indictment. We have scheduled a status conference for Tuesday, May 14th at 10 a.m. I would uh, like for you to appear at that uh, time, Mrs. Rizidovic. And of course, Mr. Delalich, if, if necessary. And at that status conference, I can assure, we'll find, from, find out from the prosecutor whether you have received all of the material that accompanied the indictment, as well as discuss preliminary motions that the defense may wish to file in this case. As you know, you have 60 days under the rules to file preliminary motions. So is that acceptable with you to appear on Tuesday, May 14th? And at that time, we will discuss your receipt of all of the material that accompanied 
the indictment as well as any other preliminary motions that you may wish to file. You need not file them by then, but we will discuss how we will proceed as well as set a date for trial. Gospođo sudje, ja sam sada saznala za taj to suđenje 14. i ja bih molila da se moj branjenik taj dan ne pojavi pred sudom jer mi želimo između ostalog staviti prijedlog da se mom branjeniku sudi odvojeno od ostalih optuženih u smislu člana 82 pravila. Normalno uz obrazloženje koje ćemo pismeno dati. Pošto je veoma kratko vrijeme, ja bih molila da se mom branjeniku ostavi sada jedan drugi rok u kome bi mi mogli primiti sve dokaze od tužioca i o njima u skladu sa pravilima dati prethodna na izjašnjenja. We will uh, set a um, status conference in this matter for May 28th at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Mr. Osberg, Ms. Rizudovic, is that are those is that date convenient? Yes, it is. For we the two of you. 28th will be something on the 30th. Is it? It's okay. 28th. Put your microphone on. Yes, please. So, there we are. Uh, 28th is fine with us. Okay, that will be May 28th. At 10 a.m., there will be a status conference in this matter. At that time, counsel may uh, appear. If you wish Mr. Uh, Delalich to appear at that time, he may. If, if not, we could have it in, in chambers, in camera, as you wish. Um, let me inquire of the prosecutor. Have you provided uh, uh, Ms. Mrs. Rizidovich with all of the material that has uh, that accompanied the indictment? Yes, we have already. And there are some other material that will be delivered in the uh, by the end of next week. Uh, we have uh, taken statements from from Mr. Delalic uh, when he was uh, uh, detained, mm -hmm. and uh, that will be translated and given to to the defense also by the end of next week. By the end of next week. Molila bih ako se taj prevod može učiniti dostupnim nešto ranije, jer je uzet 18. marta i tužilac je imao dovoljno vremena da prekuca, prevede i učini nam dostupnim traku i izjavu mog branjenika. Mr. Osper, well, what, have I you provided the, the material that accompanied the indictment? You yes. provided that in yes. in Bosnia. Is that in English or that, that is in English, English, in or French, is English like and French. Uh, yeah. Well, some some is in French and some is in English. Okay. Hmm. 
Ako ima na francuskom, onda mogu se očekati za sljedeću nedelju, jer sa engleskom mi čini teškoću da saznam suštinu toga što je napisano. Mr. Osberg, will you be able to provide all of the material that accompanied the indictment to Mrs. Rizidovich by the end of next week in French? Well, I have to, to discuss this with my colleague. Uh, have you any, you can, you can, you can ask yourself, so ask yourself. Your Honor, my understanding um, is that uh, the, um, the material is currently being translated by request of the registry into Serbo-Croatian. Um, I do not believe that there has of yet been a request to translate them into French. Um, given the demands on the translation section um, now, especially with the ongoing trial, I doubt that they would be able to translate everything into French. Some of it is already in French, and, and anything that is in French, Ms. Ms. Rezidovich already has in French. How much of the material, of, I of course know nothing about the volume of the material that, that, that accompanied the indictment. How much material is there and what portion of it has been, has been um, translated into French? There are 24 witness statements, Your Honor, and um, off the top of my head, I would anticipate that approximately a third of it is in French already. Is, and now, well, can, can it be translated into Serbo-Croatian? What I was going to suggest is, is this, Mrs. Ruzidovic, and that is, if I understand that one-third of the material has been translated into French, that you're able to, to read and understand yeah. French. And so if you have that, well, then we will leave that as it is. But the remaining material should be translated into Serbo-Croat. Is that acceptable with you? Da, za mene je to prihvatljivo, ali ukoliko se radi o izjavama svjedoka koji su sa područja Jugoslavije, oni su vjerovatno svi već dali iskaze na sobstvenom jeziku i ne vidim da postoji problem da mi se daju njihove izjave. That's the next step is to see when you can get them. Uh, assuming that you'll accept the proposition that one third of the material, I, as, I, and I, as I understand it, that's already been translated, will be in French, and then the remaining will be translated into Serbo Croat. Excuse me a minute.
Have you, Mr. Osberg, have you submitted any of the material um, to the to the registry in Serbo Croat? Uh, Mr. Morrow is telling me that he, he does not have a gauge on what has been submitted for translation. I think uh, Mrs. McHenry can tell us how much has been delivered to the registry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm not sure if I understood your question. Um, I do not believe. I believe the registry, the registry, all the material that was submitted to the registry, was in either English or French. That there is n that none of the material was taken originally in Serbo-Croatian. Mrs. Rizidovich, the, the problem that I have is that I am trying to set a date for a status conference, and I want you to have the material well in advance of the status conference. I would imagine you need at least a week to 10 days. Is that not so? Just before you would come and meet with the chambers even. I don't know when that material will be ready because I have no idea the volume of the material, nor do I play a role in the, in the translation. So I will set the status conference for May the 28th at 10 a.m. At that time, I don't think that it's necessary for Mr. Delalich to be present. So we will plan to have it in camera. If you have not received all of the material that accompanied the indictment in either French or Serbo-Croat, 10 days prior to the status conference, then would you notify the trial chamber if you need additional time? So I'm asking you to notify us, well, 10 days, that would be Monday, uh, the May 20th, will you notify us if you have not, if you are not ready to proceed with the status conference on May 28th at 10 a.m.? But at the present time, we will set it for that date. And we will then meet to discuss any preliminary matters, including confirming that you've received you that you have received everything uh, ja sam saglasna ukoliko tužilac održi uh, danas dato saopštenje da će do kraja sljedeće sednice mi učini dostupnim te materijale ja ću obavijestiti sud da li sam spremna 28. da pristupi na sud yes i would I, I would think so. So we, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, Status conference will be set for May 28th at 10 a.m. Um, after we meet and confer, I will set a date for trial. If you have any problems receiving the material, Mrs. Rezidovich, contact the trial chamber. Otherwise, we will see you on May 28th at 10 a.m. Mr. Osberg, is that acceptable with that you? That is acceptable. Thank you, Your Honor. And would you endeavor to have the material translated as quickly as possible yes, and draw. transmitted yes. to the, the council? The translation section is not in our hands either, <laughs> but we hope that with that will be possible. We will do our best, of course. And then I think it, to, before we, we finish this, this, this uh, first appearance, I just would like to inform the, 
the trial chamber that uh, the uh, indictment encompasses four indicted. Music is already here, yes. and today we have Mr. Dilalish here, and uh, the two remaining indictee, uh, Mr. Delic and Mr. Lanzo, are both in custody in Sarajevo and are supposed to be delivered to the, to the tribunal in a couple of weeks. So that pertains to the question of setting a, a date for trial, because from the side of the prosecution we will move to have a joint trial for these four persons in the indictment. I've heard <laughs> Mrs. Rizidovic say that she intends on filing a motion uh, for separate trials. Yeah, so did so I. <laughs> That's why I, I, I mentioned this, okay. without making any motion at this stage. Okay. Very good. Y you understand under the rules you have 60 days to file preliminary motions that are listed in our rules, but uh, the status conference is set for May 28th at 10 a.m. Are there any other matters that need to be discussed at this time? Mr. Osberg? Not from our side. Mrs. Rizidovich? Additional matters that need to be discussed at this time? No. No, fine. Thank you. Court's adjourned. All rise for yay, full of eight.